So this is the story of the worst building or construction miscalculation of my adult life. And um, I'm gonna divide this up in a couple of videos. The first one is gonna be the philosophy of how I came to make this mistake and what I learned from it. And then I'll go into the more technical videos of how I, how I built this heating system and, and built my way out of my problem partially. So to start with the philosophy of it, here was our situation. We had a house that was heated, is heated with wood, and for 25 years we'd heated it with an old forced hot air Sam Daniels wood furnace. Huge oversized wood furnace, much too big for the building, even though it was a big building. And um, it just worked great. House was always warm, and uh, the furnace was fairly safe. We worried about a wood furnace in the house always and of course there are air quality issues with a wood furnace in the house but the house was always warm we had nice uh, place to hang the clothes to dry and it was a pain in the ass because we had to haul in a lot of wood and we couldn't ever go away because you'd have to teach a house sitter how to run this big furnace and every time we tried to do that it improved, you know turned into some sort of problem and I'd also jury-rigged a heat a heater for the hot water system into the furnace, and so that made it even a little more particular to deal with, especially if we would try to go away and there'd be one person house sitting for us and they wouldn't be using enough hot water, and then the hot water heating system I'd made would overheat and blast hot water over the floor and the person would get upset and so on. Um, so, in my foolishness that comes with middle age, I thought I'll improve this system. So that's the first lesson of this. Never take out a functioning system if it's working well. Kind of knew that when I took out the Sam Daniels, but I kind of just told myself I was doing the right thing. So I'm out in the boiler room of my new heating system. You can see the boiler in the background there. It's nice and warm in here, probably, I don't know, it's probably 80 degrees in here and it's only maybe 10 outside. I think it goes down to close to zero tonight. This is an overview of the heating system I built. Basically, I took out the Sam Daniels forced hot air wood, wood furnace and my plan, which I executed and, and is, is working. I mean, I guess I have to call it a success. It's keeping the house warm and, and um, working pretty much the way I wanted it to. It's just that I, I vastly, vastly underestimated how much work and money it would take to build a complete system from scratch, even, even buying parts on Craigslist the way I did. So, um, basically, my thinking was good, and this was my thinking. I would, I would uh, take out the Sam Daniels forced hot air wood furnace, build an outdoor wood shed uh, separated from the house, put the wood boiler in that wood shed so it'd be nice and close to the firewood, and then pipe the heat from that wood boiler into the house through underground pipes into a big thermal tank, and that thermal tank, I'd transfer that heat into the thermal tank through a heat exchanger and then transfer the heat out of the thermal tank through another heat exchanger into the forced hot water system that would run through cast iron radiators. And then I would also put a propane boiler in the house that would provide backup heat. So if we wanted to go away, we could uh, just have a house sitter sit in the propane boiler would just do its thing. And that's, that's what I built and it works. Uh, but I just, you know, I just didn't understand how much work it would be. <laughs> Um, the other thing I, the other mistake I made kind of related to that is that I did the easy parts first, or I did the parts that made sense to me first. So, uh, you know, building the woodshed that made sense to me, building the big thermal tank in the house that kind of made sense to me. So I did those things first and put off the parts that didn't really make sense or that I didn't understand, like how to rig up the circulators, how to make the heat exchanger, how to control the circulators, how to make the propane boiler talk to the circulators, how to make the wood boiler uh, talk to the propane boiler, or at least you know have a system so they wouldn't be both running at the same time. I'll get into those things in, in future videos, but um, but I just wanted to give an over basic overview of the like the structure of what I was trying to build so it makes sense and and also to leave you with that lesson, which is if you're starting a complicated project like this one was, uh, do the hard parts first. Save the, save the parts you know how to do for last and figure out the stuff you don't know how to do first.